In exercises 28 through 32, reorder the premises in each of the arguments to show that the conclusion follows as a valid consequence from the premises. It may be helpful to rewrite the statements in if-then form and replace some of them by the contrapositives. In exercises 28 through 30, refer to the kinds of Tarski worlds discussed in examples 3.1.13 and 3.3.1. Okay, so the conclusion to this argument that we have to validly imply with these three statements is all the squares are above all the circles. So each of these three statements here are all universally quantified. The first one says all objects that are to the right of all the triangles are above all the circles. So if you notice with the first statement, it says all the objects that are to the right of all the triangles are above all the circles. We're making a claim about all the squares and that all the squares are above all the circles. So the conclusion that all of these objects are above all the circles should be at the very end of this argument. So we're going to change the first one to number three. Number two says, if an object is not above all the black objects, then it is not a square. If you notice here, we have two nots, and there's a hint that says we can replace some of these if-then forms with their contrapositives. The contrapositive of number two is, if an object is a square, then it is above all of the black objects. And so the contrapositive of number two is a universally quantified statement about all of the squares. And we're making a claim about all of the squares. This means that number two should be the first statement in our argument. So the contrapositive is a statement about squares. And the conclusion that we're trying to make is a statement about all squares. And so all squares are objects above all the black objects. Statement three makes a claim about objects that are above all the black objects. And so we would imagine since the premise of number three is the conclusion of the contrapositive to the statement above here, we would say this is number two. So number one says that all squares are above all the black objects. Number two says all the objects that are above all the black objects are to the right of all the triangles. Number three says all the objects that are to the right of all the triangles are above all the circles. And so therefore, all of the squares are above all the circles. This is the transitive property for implication. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.